Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to add some directional movement to our player. So yeah, let's get started. First, you want to go to the link in the description that takes you to my Google Drive, and you want to download this animations folder. Okay. After that, you want to create a new folder here to the blueprints or wherever you want to create it, but I will create it here. This will be called animations. Then let's open it and let's import all the animations. Let's select our skeleton, eski, mannequin, skeleton. Be sure to select the UE51. Import. Now you should see every animation working. Yes. So what do we want to do next? Actually, we want to go to the content. We want to go to characters, mannequins and animations and many. No, sorry, to the animations. Here we have this app many. Let's move this under the blueprints and the animations. Let's rename this to app player or whatever. Now what we want to do, we want to create a plain space for our movement. So let's right click and let's go to the animation and let's create a plain space. Let's select our skeleton and let's call this Moment underscore BS. Let's open it. Now, what we want to do is we want to open the horizontal axis. We want to call this right feed. A minimum value will be minus 250. A maximum value positive 250. Snap to grip. Also, let's set the smoothing time to be 0.4. I think that was pretty good. Now, this uh, vertical axis, let's open it. It will be called forward speed. Minimum value will be minus 250. Maximum value will be 500 because 500 is our running speed. Snap to and let's add some smoothing, so 0.4 seconds. Okay, so what we want to do next is we actually have to divide this vertical axis by six. Yes, now we want to get our idle and we want to move it to here, to the middle. You can see from here, that it's on the right speed, zero, forward speed, zero. Okay, now what we want to do with the idle, we want to set the rate scale to be 1.2. Okay, because we will set our other animations also to be 1.2. It might not matter a lot, but let's just do it that way. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to get our walk back animation walk b let's move it to here now let's set our rate scale to 0.6 okay now let's get our walk b again here at the bottom and let's set this speed a uh, rate scale to 1.2 okay now what we want to do we want to get for example our walk right animation and let's put it here and let's set the rate scale to 0.6 now let's get another here this we want to set to 1.2 now let's get walk left to here this will be 0.6 and let's get another one here this will be 1.2 and uh, walk front here this will be 0.6 and 
here 1.2 so these closer ones will be 0.6 and these further ones will be 1.2 okay so yeah now what we want to do is we want to get our sprint f animation here and we want to get sprint fl so forward left here and forward right to here so now when you keep control press and you move your mouse you can see when we go here we will start running and here we have this right run animation and here we have this left run animation okay and everything else is also working pretty nicely so yeah let's save let's close now let's open the ABB player and what we want to do first we want to go to the event graph and here on the pick and play or on the initialize animation what we want to do we want to delete this cast to character and we want to get from this get only actor and we want to cast to player EP player character okay so we can get access to our variables because if we only cast to the character we will not be able to uh, get all the variables from our player so let's promote this to here and connect this to here if for some reason you cannot promote this like this then you let's actually do, do it that way so let's actually delete this let's promote this to a variable now let's connect all these let's call this player ref and let's put it under references okay and let's delete the character from the player ref let's move the player ref over the movement component and here what we want to do next we actually want to delete all of this except the sequence okay let's delete this also so what we want to do next is we want to get our play ref we want to right click and convert to validate get okay that will check that the player ref is uh like set now from is valid let's connect to here and first what we want to do is we want to get the movement component and we want to get is falling now actually here under the essential movement data we can actually delete this folder and all the variables with that let's create new ones so let's promote this is falling to a variable from 10 0 this will be called falling now what we want to do we want to get our player ref and we want to get actually let's leave more space so let's get our velocity it's the bottom one here and 10 let's actually move it to here now let's get forward vector get actor forward vector let's get it to here now let's also get right vector. get actor right vector like this let's select these and align now what we want to do first we want to promote this velocity to a variable and let's get from the 10 1 and let's add a rewrote by double clicking so this new variable will be called of course velocity now what we want to do we want to get a dot product from the velocity to forward vector so we will get our forward speed so let's promote this to a variable 
each variable will be of course called forward speed. Now let's get from the velocity, let's get a dot product again. Let's get it to the right vector. Let's select this and align with the Q. Now let's promote this to a variable. And this will be called right speed. So right speed. And yeah, that will be all for now. So let's compile, let's save. Now let's go to the anim graph. Now here we have this control rig that is not connected to anywhere. So let's get our falling. Let's connect it to here. Okay. Now here on the locomotion, let's open it first. Let's go to the idle. Let's click on this MM idle and let's change this animation to this new idle animation. Where do we have it? Okay, here. Idle. Compile and save. Let's go back to the locomotion. And let's go to the walk run. Here, let's change this. Actually, let's delete it because sometimes it will glitch. Let's actually try if it glitches. Movement, yes. Yeah, as you can see, let's actually try to refresh it. Yes. So if you just change it to the new movement PS and you right click and refresh nodes, it will work. So let's get the forward speed. Let's get the right speed. Connect here. Let's check that everything is correct. Yes. Let's go back to the locomotion. And do the rule. Open it. Let's get our velocity. Let's get length xy and is greater than um oh let's put it like point one maybe it doesn't matter you can also put it to one it doesn't matter let's make it one Let's press Q to align all and let's copy these. Let's go back to locomotion. Let's go back to here. And here what we want to do. Let's delete this. Let's paste these. And let's check if our velocity, uh, velocity vector length x, y is less than one. Okay. Let's connect it here. Let's select all and let, let's press Q to align. And let's actually move this like this. Yeah. Let's compile, let's save, let's go back to the locomotion. And actually let's go back to the anim graph. Let's open the main states. Okay. So what do we want to do here? We actually want to delete this rule from here, this left one. So we only have this automatic rule here. And here on land, let's open it and let's change this MM land to our new animation, which is the land. And let's also change this alpha value to like 0.5. So let's go back to the main states. And here we want to open this and we want to check that we are pulling not okay let's go back here we want to delete this jump so we only have two falling this rule will be falling like this let's go back and this fall loop let's open it will be our fall animation so, so let's falling like that. So let's compile, let's save. And are we actually ready? Let's see. Okay, we are not ready. Okay, so I fixed the problem. 
how I fixed it was I just deleted this one and got it again and connected all these and it started to work. So let's compile, save and let's play. So now all the animations are working and when we sprint, yes, all the animations are working except our landing animation. So let's fix that. Let's go to the land animation. And let's change this additive anim type to local space and frame from this animation. And I think the frame that we want to select will be actually, let's check it from the old land animation. 26, so the last frame. So let's use the last frame. Okay, do we have 26? We have 25. So let's use the 25. Let's save and let's see what happens. Okay. So the landing animation is working. Now we have one little problem here. As you can see, this is super laggy. How can we fix that? So let's go to the, I will actually move this to here. Let's go to the blueprints and let's go to the PP player character. And here let's search for a rotate, orient rotation to movement. Let's make the false, let's compile, let's save and let's play. So now I think everything should be pretty smooth. Yes, everything is actually working pretty nicely, I think. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one.